Hello, I'm Tanya from Lallemond and this is Justin from Wine Equip and we're here today to demonstrate how to rehydrate Lallemond yeast. First of all we need a good sturdy bucket. Uh, this particular one is of a great size and it actually is very handy because it's got the litres of water, uh, the volume on the side which makes it a lot easier to, to measure. Uh, the second thing which is actually important is to make sure the temperature of the water is around about 43 to 45 degrees. And the reason I say that is because we're using GoFirm Protect Evolution to rehydrate the yeast in. Generally, you do need it at a slightly higher temperature than the usual yeast rehydration. So let's have a look. Excellent, we're at 43 degrees. GoFirm Protect Evolution is extremely high in sterols, which is why it's important for the water to be be warmer. It does take a reasonable amount of agitation to actually make it disperse because it is hydrophobic. We're using about 600 grams of the GoFirm Protect Evolution to 500 grams of yeast. It does require a reasonable amount of agitation and it will take about 10 minutes to rehydrate correctly. Now the Gopher Protect Evolution has actually been completely rehydrated, it's extremely important to check the temperature to make sure it's appropriate temperature for the yeast that we're about to use. That's generally between 35 and 40 degrees depending on which yeast it is. The next step is to, um, to add our um, active dried yeast to this um, solution. First of all, we open the packet and once again, we just break it up, break up any lumps in there, otherwise when you pour it in, it's just gonna be in, in a big lump. So that's been, all the lumps have been nicely broken up. I will now just, I might take that out, just gently sprinkle the yeast evenly over the top. Once again, don't, don't do it really fast in one big lump, really evenly distributed. And we'll just gently give it a mix. And all we need to do is just to make sure that the GoFirm Protect Evolution solution is, is covering the active dried yeast. Once it's been mixed, it needs about 20 minutes to activate and you will see the, the yeast rise in the bucket. Now that the yeast has risen, it's really important that we actually bring the temperature down to a closer temperature to the wine that we're going to inoculate. So it's important to bring it down in steps, about five degrees at a time to within five degrees of the tank we're going to inoculate. If you've got one of these buckets, please only use it for yeast. Um, and if you'd like a bucket, please contact us. If you'd like any more information on how to rehydrate Lalamond yeast, please contact us um, at Lalamond, Lalamond representative, your wine and crew and we'll certainly be able to help you.